Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. With you, Manana Manatu, and today we're going to be talking about the inevitable new 2023 driver's lineup. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel for starters and we are going to get started with the 2023 Formula One content. I have not yet filmed my predictions and all of you guys that have been following me for a while you know how much I hate to let something influence my predictions, whether it's a practice, whether it's the start of the season, etc., etc. I always like to hint a little bit of bold predictions in there that people always give me a lot of hate for, but they always end up being true. 2021 being Max Verstappen becoming world champion and 2022 Ferrari winning the second place. All I can say, I have a safe bet for 2023. Let's hope it becomes true as well. And you guys are going to have to tell me how crazy or not you think it is. But today we're going to be talking about the driver's lineup. We have two new rookies coming from Formula 2. We have another rookie coming from Formula E. And we have a veteran coming back to Formula 1. So basically there's four new drivers or semi new drivers on the grid. And we have a few drivers that have left us like Daniel Ricciardo, who is Red Bull's third driver for next season. We have Sebastian Vettel, who in theory has retired for good. Mick Schumacher, whom a lot of people claim is only taking a short break from Formula One and could or could not become Mercedes' reserve driver and be taking Nick DeVries' place. That's right, Nick DeVries will be in Formula One. We'll tell you in a bit in which team. For those of you who don't know, of course. <laughs> For those of you who have been following Formula One, you already know. But what gives? We're gonna be talking about the driver's lineup anyway. As in for Nicolas Latifi, in my honest opinion, I don't really think he's ever coming back to Formula One. Ouch. He is such a sweet person, or at least that's what I've heard because I've never really gotten the opportunity to meet him. But a little fun fact, when I was a pit marshal at the 2021 Mexican Grand Prix, I got settled in the Williams boxes for a while and I saw him and George Russell taking photos, having so much fun. They both seemed like really amazing people. Anyway, that was my experience. It was so much fun. I loved it. I know guys, it's been so long since I don't talk with you in my videos. I'm gonna be trying to do this a little bit more often. Not just, you know, throw the information at ya. I mean, we're all people, aren't we? We all want to have a little chat. And that's something that I love about people watching my videos for them to bring a little cup of coffee, a tea set. Well, not a tea set, but like a cup of tea. I just didn't want to repeat the word. A little cocktail or a beer, if you might, so that it can feel as if we're having a chat. Anyway, as in for Nicolas Latifi, there's a lot of rumors that he might be going to Indy or something of the sort. Only time will tell. We'll see. As in for the 2023 Formula One drivers lineup, we're gonna start with Red Bull. We have Max Verstappen from Netherlands and Checo Perez from Mexico. As a third driver, we are going to be having Daniel Ricciardo. Now guys, before we proceed with the video, I don't know all of the reserve drivers and I don't know all of the test drivers, but I will be telling you the ones I do know. And for the ones I don't know, Please be sure to mention in the comments down below because I would love to know and then this way other people can also read them and have a little bit more information. In Mercedes, we have seven times world champion Lewis Hamilton, whom in my honest opinion, I thought was going to retire last season, but he's hungry for more. Mercedes is a team that's gonna come really, really strong next season, so beware. And we have George Russell, who got his first victory in Brazil in 2022. Ferrari, Charles Leclerc, who believes he will become world champion in 2024, and Carlos Sainz, who also got his first victory in 2022 at the Silverstone Grand Prix. Up next, we have a French team, but like a full-on French team. French team, French drivers, French everything. Alpine. We have Pierre Gasly, who is transitioning from Alfa Tauri to this team, and Esteban Ocon. Up next, we have McLaren with two really, really young drivers. McLaren is really betting on these young drivers who are, I might say, really, really talented. We have Lando Norris and newcomer from Formula 2, which was actually Alpine's reserve driver from last season, Oscar Piastri, the team with the best 
livery because the color is beautiful. We have Fernando Alonso coming from Alpine and Lance Stroll. Another team with a new member is Alfa Tauri with Nick DeVries, Formula E champion, and Yuki Tsunoda. Yuki Tsunoda did such a cute tribute to Pierre Gasly on that last race in which he thanked Pierre Gasly with a Grazie Pierre on his halo. That was really, really cute. Following up, Alfa Romeo with Valtteri Bottas and Juan Yuzhou. The team that surprised us in 2022 was Haas, which is a team that is following up next. Now, what's really funny here, we still have Kevin Magnussen, but remember to have to survive? I know, I do too. Nico Hulkenberg coming back to Formula One with his arch enemy. It was so strange for me seeing this team come to life. I was like, wow. Like, I feel that there's gonna be trouble and drama in Alpine, but this team might have even more drama. Even though, since now they're both dads, they could chill a little bit more because they're also a little bit older. We'll see. Only time will tell. To be honest, I don't know what to expect from them. And last but not least, we have Alex Albon in Williams Racing and another newcomer from Formula 2, which, if I'm honest with you, it was such a drama getting to see Logan Sargent in Formula One because whether he was coming, he was not, Nicky leaving, Nicky not, somebody else coming, what was gonna happen until he finally got his super license because he needed to end up in the top five in Formula Two in order to come to Formula One and so he did. He ended up in fourth place last season and well, Formula One was basically looking for an American driver, so now they have him. Which means that Pato Oward is probably a little bit clearer on his path to Formula One now that McLaren will probably not be getting Colton Herta. I know. I'm so excited. Poor Pato, of course. Poor Colton. I feel for him. Anyway, guys, that is a 2023 driver's lineup. Who are you most excited to see this season? Nick DeVries? Logan Sargent? or Oscar Piastri. Please mention it down below and of course see you next week on another episode of A Girl Talks Formula One.